The only uh, thing I do physical is rice. Like if I eat sushi and I dip it in soy and the rice breaks apart, I can't handle that. I got to get every piece of rice. <laughs> that's the only thing that's like, you know, physical with me. But when I see things, I associate myself with, with doing it. Like, like, so if I watch a crime show, I remember one night I was watching crime shows all night. I go to bed now after this and I'm watching my wife sleep soundly. And now I'm wrestling with the thought of, what's stopping me <laughs> from going to the kitchen, getting a knife, stabbing my wife in her sleep and dealing with it in the morning, right? <laughs> and my wife knows I deal with this problem since I'm little, and I'm tossing, I'm turning, and all this stuff, and she just goes, babe, babe, do you want to talk about it? And I was like, no, no. I <laughs> I 100% do not want to talk about what I'm thinking. And she goes, babe, babe, how bad could it be? I was like, couldn't be worse for you. It's, <laughs> it's worst case scenario for you. And I used to feel like a less of a human being because of the thoughts. Like, why would I have that thought? But I learned it's okay, you know? Like when I see a mass shooting on the news, the first thing I think is that's horrible. That is a cowardice. That's the most atrocious act in the world. But then I'm like... But how the fuck did they only get 21 people? You got an AR-15 and you're in a packed fucking theater. Listen, it's awful, I'm not for it. But they'll be like, 21 people, that is the most in US history. I'm like, most in US history? I would shatter that record if I decided to fucking do that. Okay, listen, it's an awful thing, but if I'm making a name for myself, I'm making a name for myself. You had one job to do. I'm like, that's a lot of rice. That's a lot of rice. <laughs> You had one job. You didn't have to go to Timmy's soccer game. You didn't have to get a gallon of milk. You had to lock the door and kill everybody in the fucking room. <laughs> and I want to say something, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank everybody in this room who listened to the premise of that joke and laughed. Because if you listen, I'm serious, listen to me. If you listen to the premise of that joke and laughed, you would understand that I'm not for mass shooting. How can I be? It's the most fucking atrocious act in the world. And you would understand that I'm using comedy to put light on it. And, you know, you guys got that. You're at a comedy show and you get it. And I don't have to worry about a blogger fucking making me not be able to say what I want to say. You guys got that because it's comedy. And I appreciate that. And for anybody else, if you got all offended, tight, weird, and think I'm for mass shooting, you're the ones that belong in the theater. <laughs> I'm Paul Bersey, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Thank you. Listen, you guys are amazing.